Welcome everybody. Here's my quick uh, three and a half minute distribution preview of Zorin OS 5.2. And this one's a little, um, been out for a couple months already. In fact, they just released the light version, but this is the uh, core full version, not the premium version. But um, it does come with um, Chromium pre-installed, which you guys, actually Chrome, I apologize. And uh, I added Firefox later. I'm more of a Firefox kind of guy anyway. Um, if you look at this, this is actually the dark theme, and I'll be switching to the uh, the regular theme pretty soon. You can tell by looking at the um, gnome gnome panel there that they're really trying to make this uh, app this um, distribution geared to new users to Linux that um, are switching from Windows, which is a pretty good um, group of people. Um, although I'm never a big fan of uh, Linux distributions mimicking either the Mac or Windows OS. I just think it's kind of uh, uh, just, I don't know, bad form. I mean, if you're going to do li Linux, do Linux, and don't try to make things look like something else. But here's a quick look at the, um, I believe this is uh, Nautilus. Um, if not, it's, it's uh, another themed uh, file manager. Uh, one of the cool things is that you can uh, scale the images and the icons to what size you would like. And I love that translucent um, Ubuntu style uh, uh, terminal there. This is a very uh, Windows-esque theme, so you can go through all these uh, folders. I mean, if you're switching from Windows, hey, why not try Zorin? Actually, I really enjoyed the installation process on this. And here's some different options for customization. Um, if I remember right, this is about a 1.5 gigabyte download from their website. And I used the uh, Ireland uh, uh, download. It seemed a lot faster than the United States version. There's a lot of stuff you could do to customize the system right um, right from the beginning. Um, it does come with a Banshee music player. Uh, you might have noticed I had Pythos in, um, up there on the top right earlier in the video. And, um, you know, it didn't work. It does work with some distributions. That works with Pandora Radio. You can run Pandora through an application that doesn't require Flash. Here's the power button choices. And you can tell that the uh, the window icons are styled after um, Windows 7. But you still have the basic uh, um, GNOME notifications there. Here's a quick uh, preview of the, app, the desktops, desktop artwork that's available. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed this distribution, even though it does look like uh, Windows. You know, one of the first things I would do is go into uh, GNOME Look and download a uh, a uh, theme that didn't look so Windows-esque. But otherwise, um, I'd give this a really high rating for new users. It's really easy to install. I think I had it running in like five minutes. All right, thanks, everyone. Bye.